Hey guys, I want to take a minute to uh, talk about something. Um, in the video I did, I think it was the little uh, key holder video that I did, I mentioned uh, at the end of that video that if there was anybody interested in learning how to build an inexpensive CNC router to leave me a comment and, you know, I kind of take an informal survey to see uh, see what, uh, what happened with that. Um, and you know, and then if enough people were interested, I'd, I'd maybe do a video series on making a CNC router. Uh, well, I was really surprised. I figured there'd be maybe a couple or maybe a handful of people that uh, might be interested in that. But uh, there was several comments, uh, you know, a bunch of emails and stuff like that, saying, "Yeah, we'd really like to, to see a video series on that." So, that being said, I'm going to uh, go ahead and start working on a design for a inexpensive CNC router that you can build at home. Uh, I will, uh, you know, go through the whole process from the design all the way through the assembly process. Uh, we'll talk about uh, programming software, machine operating software. Uh, you know, I, di I just don't want anybody to be intimidated uh, about a CNC router. You know, if, Basically, if, if you're on a computer right now watching this video, you, you know, you can run a CNC router. It, it's not rocket science. It's not that hard. And I can, I've been doing this a long time, so I can break it down and, you know, make it really easy steps where, you know, anybody can do it. Uh, but uh, anyway, I just want to take a minute to talk about that. Uh, you know, you might be thinking about and, and leave a comment too, if you would, uh, about what size. I, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that uh, I'll start out with something small, uh, you know, for one to keep the, the price down, and for another, I think a lot of people mainly use their CNC for maybe making plaques or, you know, maybe guitar bodies or something like that. So I'll probably try to make it where the cutting area is, I don't know, maybe 18 by 18 or something like that. You know, you can let me know your thoughts on that by commenting or, or emailing me or whatever. Uh, you know, and if this works out well, uh, maybe I'll, you know, I've, as I get to thinking about this, I'm thinking my my CNC router here that I've had for years, and I used to uh, build and sell these. Uh, you know, it has a cutting area of about 40 by 26, the 26 being this way. But also, you know, I could pull it out and remove the the Lexan around it and index longer pieces if I need to, but I'm still limited by my 40 inches this way. And I've always thought it would be, be kind of cool to have a CNC router where I could just throw a 4x8 sheet of plywood or MDF on there and go to town, not have to cut it down first. So anyway, I may may even build a bigger one later um, as, as, as we go on. Uh, but I just want to let everybody know that I'm, I'm starting to work on the design part of uh, the CNC router. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And uh, be ready to watch for uh, this CNC router series that will be coming up. So thanks very much. And uh, we'll talk to you next time.